I installed one of those cheap uh, Cabela's, well not Cabela's branded I guess, but they're a backrest from Cabela's anyway. And these two steel rods uh, is what supports the backrest, like upright, and lay like this, and keep the backrest from going too far forward or back. So I ended up bending them, or one of them. Uh, I think it was this one. I bent it back. It was totally buckled. You can kind of see the bend in it up there. There's a wiggle, but. Um, I bought some flat bar. It's a little bit thicker than what was used originally. Not a whole heck of a lot, but there's some powder coat with that too. So, going to drill new holes, round off the corners, paint them, all that stuff. Uh, I just laid it on top there and held it tight with a pair of vice grips and used a transfer punch to uh, punch new holes so I can drill that out right after I cut it off um, let me do some grinding work just to take the corners off it so I got enough here to do two of them I thought about doubling it up First, and I might do that with the original ones, just put two on, but we'll see how it goes anyway. I'll cut out these first and see what happens. Alright, as you can tell, I've already cut it to length there, and I've drilled two pilot holes in it. And I'm just going to match up a uh, drill bit there to the size of these holes and finish it off there. Alright, that 1964 bit there did the trick. It's the exact same size as what was in it. So I'm just going to finish it off with a countersink bit just to make sure there's no burrs on it. I already did one bracket which is over there and I'm just doing the uh, Second one there, I got the pilot holes already done. Alright, there's our two finished uh, brackets, or whatever you want to call them, supports. So I just got to take them down to the other shop. I got no bench grinder here. And uh, I'm just going to round over those corners so they're not super sharp. Then we can take them back up here and shoot a couple coats of paint on them. Alright, as you can see, rounded off the ends of them. So now we're just going to clean them up and uh, shoot a coat of primer on them and then a coat of paint. All primed up, just got to let her dry and then a top coat. Alright, there they are, all painted up. Just leave them overnight to dry, and then tomorrow I'll do a quick video, very quick, uh, showing them being put back on the bike. So, until then, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.